Right now, I'm gonna do construction for a small camera. I'm gonna do a two liter bottle construction. The two liter bottle, first thing we're gonna do is rip the label off. The, there'll still be probably be a remnant of the label. And that'll actually be a little helpful to us. So this little glue remnant of the label is going to help us measure out where we're going to start. So I'm going to cut this bottle in half uh, by picking the middle of the label. So I'm looking at this label, it's right about here. So I'm just going to cut the bottle in half from there. Uh, I crimped it, just like that. Cut it on the crimp. Now that I have a little cut, I'm going to stick the scissors inside, work them around in a circle. Now I'm going to hold on to this bottom. I'm going to use this later to make the uh, stabilizing fins like on this version. So the bottom will turn into these fins. But for right now, we're just going to focus on the, the upper housing. So now uh, it's a little wet. Dry it off. Yeah, rinse your bottle out. You don't want uh, sugary soda on your camera. Um, so dry it out a little bit. So I know my bottle, my camera fits into my bottle. And I now have a, a shock mount for my camera. Now I'm going to use the shock mount to mount my camera inside the bottle uh, temporarily and check whether uh, the bottle intrudes onto the frame, into the camera's uh, frame of view. So I'm going to put my harness onto my camera. straight off the back. I'm going to drop it into the bottle. I'm going to pull it taut and hold it with my hand. Make sure it's roughly centered inside and turn the camera on. So now I'm going to look out the frame of the camera at the screen um, through the bottle. And I'm going to look at the screen and I'm going to trace my finger along the edge of the bottle. See whether my finger ends up in the frame of view. I'm lucky it doesn't. So if it did, I would just take my scissors, cut in, and trim a little off the bottom of the bottle until it was out of the frame of view. Sometimes that can be asymmetrical. In my uh, Canon, in the housing for the camera that's filming this, you can see I've cut a little notch out of it. That's because just that corner was intruding into the view. I wanted to maintain as much bottle protection as possible. And uh, so right, I know it guards it. That's good news. So now I'm going to add an attachment point for my harness. So my next stage is to identify the seam of the bottle. This bottle was rotary molded inside a, uh, uh, inside a mold that had two parts. And that mold has left two little indentations in the bottle on either side that, you, that are most easiest to, they're easiest to see up around the neck, but they continue down the body. I'm going to use these to identify the front and back of the bottle and make sure I make a uh, symmetrical camera housing. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a little notch to hold um, the shock mount on. I'm going to do that by clipping first to one side, about an inch up, and then to the other of this middle seam, creating a little like one inch square uh, flap right in front of the bottle. Just like that. What this allows me to do Put the camera inside, pull the mount taut, and loop it 
right around the front of the bottle. Hold the camera in place. So now I'm going to add on our uh, stabilizing fins. So I'm going to grab the back end of this and there's a little line the bottom of this bottle is a little line that separates the base from kind of the body. And you can see it just running right along the bottom here. So I'm going to cut up to that line, just straight in. Kind of cut farther than that line, actually. And then I'm going to stick my scissors in it, and I'm going to follow that line around, so a really nice half of the bottle. Great. So now I got this nice half bottle. I'm now going to fold it in half. See that I didn't cut it totally evenly. It's all right. Trim it down later. And I'm going to use that uh, that crease to cut it in half. Cool. Now I got these two loops. Now you'll notice the wings have this great looped end to them. The way I did that was by sticking these two together so that they curve outwards with their curves facing each other like this. I'm going to fold them over each other so they overlap just enough so that the overlap is smaller than the width of my tape that my tape tapes on both sides of the overlap. I'm going to lay them down on the ground so that I know that I get a flat and even attachment. I want them to be really one straight line. There. I have one big strip. The next thing I'm going to do is make these insertion spots. So again, I'm going to go back to this seam on the bottle, and I'm going to use the opposite side from the attachment point, and I'm going to start putting two holes into this side of the bottle on either sides of the seam that are going to be just slightly wider than this overlap area. Use the same technique as I did making these two top holes. I have my fingers on either side of the scissors and I have the blade facing away from me so if I slip I don't cut myself and I'm mostly doing a twisting motion. I'm not putting a lot of inward pressure on the bottle. That was not actually all that great. I kind of ripped it a little bit. But I'll show you how to account for that. I really want the smallest possible hole. There. Much better small. So I have to fake the last step of this because my memory card just ran out when I was doing it. Hole in the middle is what you just kind of drilled with your scissors. 
cut up a little bit, measure it against the uh, plastic you're going to insert, cut down a little bit, do the same on the other side. So uh, these fins, before I folded them, uh, would have wanted to curve like that. They naturally would have curved together like this, but I folded them back so that even though they naturally want to curve like that, they're going to stick straight off the back of the bottle. Um, normally, the fold is one of the last steps you do on, on these. So what I'm going to do is insert these into the slits against the natural curve of the bottle that they're cut from. So um, now that the, the folded, the doubled up section is right in the middle, I can fold my two wings back and see right where the middle is between them. This is an important step of making sure I join the wings together exactly the right point. So I've got them pinned at the right spot. I'm going to hold them there and grab a piece of tape. straight off the back. And then the next step I'm going to do is to crease these in the middle like that to make it stiffer, to make the wings stiffer. And then finally add a little piece of tape on the inside to hold them in place. And I'm done. So stabilizing fins. Uh, next step is going to be to load and get the camera ready for shooting.